Hello drivers, so today I got a Mazda 26, actually sorry, a 2010 Mazda 6 here with me, I can show you to check the oil. And this is basically, you could do this on cars that you have regularly, you know, it's the same thing, same procedure. So, first, car half, take out the dipstick, so you can see it. Anyway, you see this, the, the last line represent the full line. So you can see the oil is up to this to, to, to the line, that means that it's good. I usually check it a second time just to make sure everything is right. Okay, the oil is up to here. As you can see, that means it's good. Once it's up to here, it's not all the way down here, you don't have to add any oil. So, the oil is good. It's up the right amount of oil. Usually we check the transmission fluid next with the car with the car off. I mean car on. On this car, usually transmission fluid I mean um checking dipstick is in the back. Some cars in the front. As you can see, it's over here already, so that means it's good. If it was all the way down here, you gotta add more. But the right way to check transmission fluid, you gotta turn on the vehicle, maybe drive two, three miles, make sure it's hot, put it in drive, check it the right way. But I'm just checking the since I'm checking the oil already. But I have enough transmission fluid in the vehicle. You can see that is right here. Check it, check it a second time if you want to make sure. Next, we gotta have the power steering fluid right here. The power and steering fluid usually have a min and a max. Have a min and a max on the bottle. The max is on the top, the min is on the bottom. Min min is too low, max min is, is just the right amount. Mine is right just below the max, so I won't have no more. So this is fine. Some power steering fluid have a, have a stick with it, or a line on top of it, instead of just the cover. But this one have on the on the bottle itself that the man and the, the max and the min okay so my one is just below the max that mean is good okay it's on, on the bottom right here so that's good this right we look looking at here is the windshield is a uh, is the is that i would say this is the the windshield um wiper fluid this is what you use one time like for instance your glass is dirty you clean the glass with this one you just pour windshield in this one windshield fluid and you're good to go make sure it's full up all the way this we don't have to worry about the measurement because you just all you got, got to do is just fill it up all the way until you see it full all the way up all right and that's the one in two you know when you buy it badly you're gonna see it mark windshield washer fluid all right And right next to it, I got the antifreeze. Usually these cars, you got to fill the antifreeze from the reservoir. Go right down to the radiator. So this is a reservoir. So you got the max, uh, you got the high, you, what, what is it says right here? Yeah, full and low. You got the full and low. So what happened is that, right, mine's is just between the full and the low. That's good enough. You don't don't have a, especially when it comes to reservoir, don't, uh, overflow your reservoir too much leave just a little bit above you know you want to make sure you don't have you don't fall all the way up that means you got time to push back enough um, antifreeze back to the radiator all right so this is good enough so that's the antifreeze bottle some cars just you could just fill it right from the radiator itself and then still have the reservoir but this full all the way this is full directly from the reservoir all right if you got any cars like this okay and right here we're looking at in the back right here we got the the brake fluid the brake fluid usually you got to make sure it's full all the way but the trick with the brake fluid now if you need brakes sometimes you're gonna see the brake fluid go very very low don't don't just go ahead and hide no brake fluid make sure you check your brakes first 
because the reason why you break fluid go very low is because the cat the um whatever you call it um the brakes i'm gonna tell you what is it right now okay the caliper if your brakes go low the caliper gonna push right out and what it's gonna do the fluid go all through the line right through the line meaning like the more the caliper the, the, the caliper goes out the more fluid it needs to hold the brakes so you low and instead of you got to put more fluid you just got to replace your brakes replacing your brakes push back the caliper and met the um, whatever fluid is, is in the line it come right back up to the reservoir and this will be the reservoir right here okay so if you check your your brake your brake fluid and you see it's very low just don't go ahead and add no 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 fluid to it you never know it just because maybe you brake low check your brake first before you do anything or maybe you got a leak all right hopefully that's up and the next thing is to do make sure you check your tire check your tire pressure make sure it's low you know like every every morning you get up make sure you check your tires make sure you have enough air inside all around because sometimes you get up to go work and maybe you got a, a, a slow leak on one of the tire you don't know so I would recommend to check all four tires before you go out or before you go to work you don't get flat on the highway or flat on the, the road you know save time and most important, importantly check your brake light your indicators and your brake light um, what you could do is basically turn on the vehicle put on the indicator come back and check uh, what I usually do to check the brake light put the uh, like uh, whatever safety thing you have to press down price on your brake meanwhile your car is in park go in the back and make sure your brake light working you don't get stopped by the police all right there's another important thing usually I check my battery make sure I don't have any um dirt between it or corrosion and both negative and positive okay you don't want to you know because sometimes you have positive I mean corrosion and it won't the vehicle won't start up so make sure you clean it with a brush loosen the negative clean it with a brush or the positive loosen it and clean it with a brush all right so these are the most important steps to check on your vehicle if you don't want to get left on the road all right for safety issues but i would say always check your fluid that's the most important thing antifreeze oil transmission fluid all right thank you and hopefully i have somebody you know hit the bell for notification all right have a good day